What's up everyone, my name is Harshan Mavani and in this video we take a look at the history and futures of Java in 5 minutes. So, let's get started. Back in 1991, June, three engineers, James Gosling, Patrick Norton and Mike Sheridan started working on the Java project. Interactive television was the aim. They wanted to create a language which supports an interactive television. Now, after the project technicalities, you know, comes the most difficult part, naming, naming your project. So the question is, what do you call a language which is just deemed to be one of the most easiest yet powerful languages of all time? Well, if it was me, I would name it Heimdall or Jotunheim or Project Loki, wait, enough of Thor. Or something more technical like the Mark 1, Mark 47, Igor, Red Snapper. Wow, I've just moved on to Iron Man. Great. But yeah, you get me. If it was us, we would name it something fancy. Any guess what these three opted for? So the story states that they decided to name it Oak after an oak tree standing outside James Gosling's office. Huh. Interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Don't switch off the video. I promise Java is interesting, if not the history. So let's move on and talk about the goals they had in mind when they were designing this programming language. First of all, they wanted it to be simple, robust, and architecture neutral. Also, they wanted Java to be a high performance language, and of course, threaded and dynamic. Now, the design of Java was so beautiful that these goals later on went ahead and became the features of Java. So, that's your answer. The features of Java are nothing but the goals which were planned. So Java is simple, robust, architectural neutral, high performance, threaded and dynamic. So these are the features of Java. But from all of these features, I have to say that one feature which is really interesting, which makes it to most of the interview questions, it is undoubtedly platform independence feature of Java. So what exactly is platform independence? To better understand platform independence as a whole, we need to first understand platform. What does the term platform refer to? Now, a platform can be any specific software and hardware configuration. So you can have a combination, for example, a platform can be a software configuration, a hardware configuration, or a combination of both. That is software plus hardware. In our case, in terms of Java interview questions, a platform is nothing but an operating system and its underlying hardware. So something like Windows and a PC or a laptop. So that is what the term platform refers to. Now, which component provides the platform independence feature and how exactly does platform independence come into the picture? We will understand this in the next video. That's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please keep watching.